Hey, 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 we are back. Episode two. This is way better Ooh. than episode two of Star Wars, whatever it's called. Phantom. What? Uh, what? You think so? episode two of Star Wars was good? I like all of them. I uh, like all of them. No, I like them. I, trust me, I like them. But it, it's definitely the problem with the Star Wars saga. Let's just say this right quick. They should <laughs> not have gone back and done episode one, two, and three. You, you should have put that out on no. Amazon Prime. Really? Yeah, man, that was so... That's like reading the Old Testament. Just get me to the part where Jesus starts doing a bunch of magic and stuff. Like, that's that's the good part. That's that's the good part. No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Fire and brimstone, baby. Fire and brimstone. <laughs> Old a... Testament. And, you know what? I take it all back. This episode two is going to be better than that episode two. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I am o Omi D, along with the homie, more or less, we are here with Omi D Learns, like we say, it's the ODL experience, ladies and gentlemen. Last time we talked ODL. about coffee, I learned mm -hmm. so much about coffee, now I am officially mm -hmm. a, uh, a a breakfast blend kind of person <laughs> there, and uh, I'm, I'm about that life, so Cheers we got we got them, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. We I'm, got them. I'm hooked. Every morning, I'm just like, <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. So, cancer today. Like a crazed goat. Yeah, oh, cancer. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So today is cancer, and mm -hmm. uh, that's an uh, interesting topic. So we're gonna see how this is gonna go. I've done the typical background, which has set everything up, and I know a little bit about cancer. But more or less knows a lot about cancer. And ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into it. Let's get rolling and see what's going to happen here with the ODL experience with cancer. Yeah, like, like uh, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm glad uh, I'm glad it's starting off this way. Like you, you read the word cancer and it's like, oh, you're going to bring me down. And like I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you because I hear cancer and I immediately think of my mom. I lost my mom to cancer. I lost my mom to lung cancer. Like as soon as we found out she had it, we lost her within nine months. Like it went fast. It was yeah. like, oh, your mom got breast cancer, and then oh, let's go in for that. And they went, ah, well, uh, we found lung cancer right behind that, and um, we're not even going to bother treating the breast cancer. Like I get it, and and I don't want to make light of anybody's situation. Mm -hmm. I've been through it. I'm, I'm sure you've got oh, yeah. awful yeah. stories. Yeah. yeah. Multiples. Um, but I, I, I do like that we started off on a, on a lighter note, like finished off with a, a strong coffee conversation. Like just you, you and I even, it, this isn't the, the, the sad cancer. I think cancer is a sad topic because it it's affects so many. Um, and so I, I really, from me, and I'm I, I just going to guess that you mean it as well. Like if we, find a joke or find some humor or find an interesting topic in here it, it we still take the overall thing like very seriously but i i this is not a downer topic at least today like i found yeah. some interesting stuff that i really think you're gonna <laughs> dig on that that really explains a whole lot of uh what cancer is and what it isn't why some people can recover why some people don't um w and really give some insight into what the treatment is or where people are looking for a quote cure mm -hmm. and i every time i hear oh help the cure i'm like you don't understand cancer or at least the way that i do because i mm, cure is not the word that i would use mm, look, i think you you hit the nail right on the head the overall feeling that we have about cancer is not a joke but however, no. we are very light spirited people and we like to learn new things. So like he said, mm -hmm. if we touch on something that we find some humor in, we're not here to make fun or poke fun of anyone. But I think it's very important for everyone to learn as much about something as you possibly can, mm -hmm. because this is going to affect your life, whether you like it or not whether it's someone uh, that you know or it's you personally. But the more information that we all know, the more ideas that we can come up with to possibly help with the fight against cancer. I'm not going to say cure. Absolutely. No, I, I, cure works because it's, it's good on a shirt and that's good on donations and that's good for scientists who are researching stuff. Like, I get all that. Yay, um, like, I get it. 
Um, I, I'll also say that I've done a lot of research and in no way am I in the cancer field or medical field. This is my understanding of it that we're trying to compress into a quick 30 minute podcast. Like yeah. I, I want to explain to you my understanding of it. I think it's really cool. Um, I, I know it's accurate if I can get it out fast enough. Um, and I don't think there's anything in here that's actually funny that we've tried to put in there, but you know, like we're saying, Hey, I'm sorry if we laugh at something, I don't know of anything specific. Uh, but I think, you know, at some point we're, we're going to sip our coffee and be like, what are you talking about? Yeah. I'm sure I can find a way to insult somebody, but we're not here for, for sure. today. We're, we're here to do an right. educational podcast. Let's roll. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. So are you familiar with DNA? I am. I'm a little bit familiar with DNA. That's what they could not use to pin OJ to the murder. So, uh, <laughs> I, I, I the do. glove don't fit. <laughs> to quit so yeah. I, I also know that dna um uh it's kind of like our our building block and it's how we trace yeah. what a person is and it basically it's the structure of life how we start with one strand building upon others and then cells and then all that good stuff cool great cool 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 so if that's the general understanding this can be an even easier conversation so you're absolutely right it's where we build it's what's going on uh, DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. Yeah, yeah, it's a molecule. Yeah, it's a molecule composed of two polynucleotide polynucleo uh, chains that coil around each other to form a double helix. Um, so you got an image up there. You see the double helix. That one's actually splitting off into two. If you see that image on there, mm -hmm. uh, which is something that we're going to get into as well. Uh, mm -hmm. But for the most part, it's just a single strand, double helix, and it's all tied together, and it carries our genetic information. Mm -hmm. And like you said, like it's where we start. It's also where we continue. Um, so it's not just the start of life. It's everything throughout the entire life. Mm -hmm. So. It's a uh, super long molecule, and it contains our uh, unique genetic code. Yours is different than mine, I I except for the fact that like twins share the same one, so it might be yeah. the same one. So the, the yeah. our DNA could be in multiple places because you travel and I travel, and they don't right. know what banks we might have robbed. Bam, bam. <laughs> but when I say yours is different than mine, I mean people at home listening to this. Like yours is definitely different than mine because mm -hmm. you don't share our birthday or our mommy and daddy. True. True. Um, yeah. So like a recipe book, your DNA holds all the instructions for making all the proteins that make up all the different parts of your body. Everything. So it has the same DNA. I've got the same DNA in my eyes that I have in my elbows that I have in my liver. Same DNA. It's the same recipe book. It just knows how to read the different stuff. So okay. two-stranded molecule, and it contains only four basic building blocks. Um, if you see on the, the image there, you see that A, T, G, and C. That's adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. Mm -hmm. And the A's, the G's, the C's, and the T's, they um, are all on the strand in a specific order. Mm -hmm. But on the other strand, the second strand that is spinning around with it is the opposite uh, building block on the other side. So for every time you have an A on one side, you will always have a T on the other. Mm -hmm. For every C, there's a G. For every G, there's a C. For every T, there's an A. Like, it's just the way that it is. Like, it is bonded with a hydrogen bond. It's super strong, very strong, like the strongest bond ever. Yes. Um, no doubt. Check it. It's bonded. Yeah. Okay. Super glue. Gorilla so, glue. Yeah. A's and T's, C's and G's, like forever look i want to stop okay. you right here because genetics Please. if you didn't know genetics is my thing genetics is my jam you know okay biology is my jam and and i love the double helix there and i love you talking about the the bases and the groupings behind those bases and how they form that chain and i don't know if you're going to go into mutations later on how those chains sometimes mutate but i'm just going to say it's pretty interesting go ahead go ahead i we are going to touch upon mutations because some of that is going to be linked to cancer although they are different mutation is not cancer it's not the same thing okay. um but we'll get into what that is so all right so we got a's and t's and c's and g's and t's and a's and a's and t's and g's and c's all right so they always combine together you'll never see a c with the t you'll always see the t with the a 
You'll never see a G with an A. You'll always see a G with a C, right? Like forever. Correct. G's and C's. That's not the same thing, but yeah. All right. So a DNA strand averages two nanometers wide. That's two billionths of a meter. A uh, strand of human hair, yeah. 40,000 times wider. Wow. Wider. Not longer. Wider. Wider. Than a strand of, yeah. Okay. Uh, if you lined the DNA that you have in one cell of your body, one cell, it would be about six feet long. Okay, about tall as me. Jeez. Yeah. All right. One cell. And then if you line the DNA from all the cells in all of your body, twice the diameter of the entire solar system. Whoa. Twice the diameter of the entire, which takes mm-hmm. light years to travel. Multiple right. light that's years. Right. That's how thin it is. I mean, like, you can imagine how long it is, but that's how thin it is that it, it's just in there. Okay? Each strand is going to have three billion base pairs. Those base pairs are the ATs, GCs, like, three billion of those. A, T, G, C, all those constantly. Three billion. Me? Okay? It's not only long... It's compact, yeah, ladies. It's, it's a lot of... <laughs> what? All right, let's go. It's... All right. All the ladies so, are ready. <laughs> so you get it. Like, for DNA, length matters. It really does. We're going to get into why. Like, you got long DNA? Good stuff, man. Good Watch stuff. Out. Watch right? out. It's coming for you. So... So I hope that I've established that we've got some really long DNA. Like yeah, yeah, we got long DNA, my friends. We got on the it. table, kaboom! Okay. Oh, solar system. Yeah. <laughs> oh Lord, help me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna sip on this. I right. need some coffee drinks. Mm-hmm. All right. DNA. Now, as you pointed out in that image right there, that that double helix is splitting off and reforming because DNA is a self-replicating molecule. Mm-hmm. And all this matters. I know we're talking about cancer, but this is this is it, all right? And so when it splits, that super strong bond splits off. And now these A's and T's and G's and C's go over here, and these T's and C's and C's and G's and A's go over here. I think you did it right. But then they get rebonded with what? Uh, A's and T's and C's and G's. And always the exact same. So when it splits, it becomes the exact same molecule because the A's and T's and G's and C's are always the same. So when it splits, the new one is going to be the same. Oh, it's like, hey, I left you, but here I am with my new friend. Correct. Who's the exact same as my old friend. Okay. Uh And this matters a whole lot. Matters a whole lot. Right. So DNA splits and becomes DNA again. The exact same thing. We there? Yeah, it's, it's more DNA. Cool. It's replication. I got you. It's, it's, it's cool. like, hey, and I'm going to take you. Again. And, oh, you look just like my old partner. It's yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, let's right. do it. There are people who have problems yeah. with relationships like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's wrong with her? She looks just like your <laughs> old girlfriend. Look, Yo, T, look for a C or a G. Nah, I'm down with the A's. Look, Jennifer's and Casey's are off limits for me. No mas. <laughs> Is that a G for Jennifer? <laughs> <laughs> Could be. I don't care if it starts yeah, with a Q. Or... She's off limits. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No. All right. So A's and T's and G's and C's have their type, and that's their only type, right? Mm-hmm. So here's the question. When does DNA split? Thursday nights. Thursday nights. <laughs> Let's go. Getting me a new A tonight. Ladies night. <laughs> gonna get some A tonight yeah either that or tax uh, when tax refunds come out one of the two <laughs> <laughs> so I got some new spinners on my ride it's like, like yeah hey we uh I need that new Caprice classic cause it's going down hmm. I'm gonna paint it or I'm gonna you know put some money in stock and we're gonna be okay but yeah that, I don't, I don't, so what makes DNA split I don't know like angry money sex no no so i i mean you talked about it earlier like what when does dna split mutation cell growth yeah no (laughs) (laughs) when it's time to make more cells like you say cell growth. when it's time to grow yeah when it's time to split when it's time to growth 
yes. organism growth. When it's time to get bigger, we split, we divide, we go um, to replace dead cells. Okay, like when you when okay you so skin and stuff. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you've got to have DNA that's there splits to replace the dead scale, dead cells that are gone away. So if you exfoliate, mm -hmm. you're going to replicate. You exfoliate, you must replicate. Okay. You Damn, understand? you have to. You exfoliate, yep, to. you must replicate. You got to <laughs> replace those dead cells. Yeah. Um, how often do cells die? Like, I, I think we've all heard the uh, you've got a new body every seven years. Oh yeah, I've heard that. I mean, I don't, my, the scale doesn't say that, but yeah. <laughs> so, so it's it's not true. It's not like all your cells are just replaced every seven years. Um, that is absolutely true when you average the life of a cell. But every cell is not a seven-year cell. Okay. okay. Um, red blood cells. You replace all of them every seventy to one hundred and twenty days. Your intestinal cells. Your, your intestines, your guts, average 10 years. And I say average 10 years. Why? Because the inside part of your guts mm -hmm. get replaced every five years. Chitlins, right? And yeah. Don't eat so chitlins. that probably depends on what you eat. But, you know, sometimes I'm pretty convinced that I replace the inside of my guts, like, after one meal. Taco Bell. Yeah, done. <laughs> Did it. I just saved you five years. Right there. Yeah. You're younger. Okay. But the outside of your, the outside part of your intestines can last 16 years. Mm -hmm. So when you say the average of your intestinal cells is 10 years, that's because the inner parts of it is five, the outer parts of it is 16. All right. Your skeleton, your, your, your bones, 15 years. Skin cells, 14 days. So yep. this, this beauty gets replaced every 14 days? Yep. You got your dry, ashy skin because it's getting replaced. That's it. You got to put that lotion on. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Um, your skin's still going to die. You're just like keeping the keeping it matted there. It's more like um, uh, putting bricks and mortar on there so that your your dead cells don't fall off. That's why black like, don't crack. So we got mortar. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. That's probably not it. <laughs> <laughs> but now you make me think. Now I need to exfoliate. Every time I take a shower, I'm get some of those exfoliation gloves and just. What do you mean every time you don't? What are you doing in the shower? No, like... I, I mean I wash because I got the the, the 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 loofah thing, but I want the exfoliating gloves. Like I want the gloves so I can just. Get the you gloves. don't you don't like do the man you don't do the man thing where you get in the shower and like wash your armpits, wash your balls, and get out, right? No, hell like, no. That's disgusting. Like, like wash no. yourself. Like no. when's the last time you wash your feet? Every day. I got I use the towel yeah, right. too. I'm, Please, they, yes. They, they call oh me God. Flip Flop Freddy. Like I, I get, I got the towel. <laughs> they? Yeah. What, what kind of shower are you taking? Everybody, <laughs> uh, PlayStation. I'm known as Flip Flop Freddy. Seventy seven. Look me up. But yeah, you get the towel, and you got to get the towel and scrub your feet. I do the pedicure every week, man. I soak them, and I got the little. Mm. I clean them up, man. It's serious. I get Good. Ready. I Good. I knew it. I knew it. Just, yeah. just confirming you don't do the like, oh, and go like, like hey, come on, man, take care of yourself. Spray some axe on me and let's go. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's quarantine. Who cares? Yeah. Like, <laughs> do you have any scars? Yes, I do. From when I broke my leg. All right. So that scar is not in your DNA. Okay. Not. The scar is not part of your DNA. Like. S your DNA does not have coding A's and T's and G's and C's that say put a scar here. How does it get fixed? So, if, oh, I, I mean, it's your skin coming together and growing together. But that scar contains your DNA, but you, you don't have a scar as part of your DNA. So my question is, why is it last? Why does a scar stay there if your skin's getting replaced? Because it doesn't recognize it as normal. DNA, so it's like, okay, you're cool, but you, you're you just not normal. I, I like it. I like that answer, and it's going to fit into my theory. Like, cuts heal, wounds heal, bones heal, scars stay with us. It's not in the genetic code, but it's still there. Mm -hmm. So it does have the DNA in there, but that DNA 
doesn't know to recreate something like a, um, a, a tail on a lizard or something. Or it doesn't have that. And that's going to be one of the keys to understanding what cancer is, like getting back to the topic, like that scar, the fact that this part of your body does not know how to get back to normal mm -hmm. is going to be part of this, this cancer conversation. So you remember our friends A, T, C, and G? Yeah, yeah. We're going to talk about, yeah, we're going to talk about them again. Okay. Yeah. So at the very so throughout the entire molecule, the entire DNA molecule, you got A, T, A, T, T, A, A, T, G, C, C, G, A, T, like constant, like miles and miles and miles of this stuff. And what does it mean? Um, well, we can't read it, but if you're like, you know, uh, uh, in the matrix and you can read that, you're like, oh, that's a dog, that's a cat. Like you can read it. Oh, those are blue eyes. Those are brown eyes. Because that's what's happening when you read through that. That code just tells you what everything is. That's, a, that's your cat. Like everything it knows. Okay. And all these codes combine to create you, me, different parts of you. Um, DNA doesn't just poof, turn you into it. It's the blueprint and it has to be read. Um, for the sake of time and for the sake of I'm not a medical professional. I'm just summarizing uh, the engineers who are reading the DNA, the, let's call them uh, cellular blueprints, mm -hmm. uh, are read by proteins. And somebody out there is going to go, no, it's not. It's this. I'm like, cool. I'm going to say that a protein reads your DNA and says elbow, blue eye, yeah. brown hair. Okay. So protein's going to read it. Okay. It's a lot more technical than that, but cool. Something's reading your DNA and creating stuff, right? Gotcha. So on the DNA strand, there is a top and a bottom. Like, sorry, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> no, there's a top and a bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a, like reading a book, there's a, a start and a finish. Yes. Okay. And it is super important of where it is and what's going on and when you start and when you stop. Okay. So proteins recognize when it's time to develop lungs, like in the womb. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, they know when it's time to develop feet, hands, heart, blood vessels. Uh, right around birth, these proteins recognize that it's time to stop making these things. So not that image yet. We'll get there. My bad. Um, I mean, have it's cool. Problem. I mean, if, if anybody, like, we're going to share all these images, just uh, almost there. So, yeah, no, it's going to be good. We are, we are there. Um, you've seen the image. Yeah. No, so you your proteins read this thing, and it says, start making throat <laughs> stop making elbow you know so it knows what's happening it knows how to read it and it, you're not going to get a second heart no. okay you're not going to you're not going to get a second nose or a third arm um unfortunately for some you're not going to get a replacement arm you're not going to get a new foot you're not going to get a a lung um if you lose a lung at some point the proteins stop making new stuff because the DNA tells them to. Okay. So the DNA is and like sometimes, the manager. Correct. But it's not a smart manager. Like it's this <laughs> glorious manager who makes these cool things, but it's like, oh, the DNA told me to stop. Like, but you didn't make it. And so there's birth defects, anything like that, where the DNA may not have read to even start something. So it didn't do it. Something was wrong with that particular um, portion of the DNA. Maybe not the DNA entirely, but something happened where it did not read it right. And so it just didn't do it because it didn't know any better. Yeah, so the DNA okay. basically didn't ask questions. It was like, well, you told me to stop here, so I'm just stopping here. Correct. And all your A's and T's and G's and C's, there is a start sequence and there is a stop sequence. And these things are called start codons and stop codons. It's not difficult. And that's real stuff, like not just making that up. All right, so specific, there you go, thank you. All right, um, so the, the start codons are like a green light and a red light that the proteins recognize, okay, I'm supposed to stop doing this, and now I start doing this. And the start codon is any time it's going through and it sees an A, and then a U, and then a G. Okay. 
So it's like reading through stuff, and it's like, oh, AC, uh, what is you? Yeah, what is you? I'm, I'm not smart enough. All right. So the here's, here's where I'm just going to keep going because I don't know what the the u is as part of the uh the the base code and so somebody smarter than me explain that in the comments somewhere so when the start codon reads a u g in that order it starts it's a green light for making the thing that it's supposed to make uracil. okay it's called uracil uracil yeah uh, cool is uh, it a base what is it it's a it's a base sequence. Uh, it's a codon strand of yeah. DNA, messenger's RNA, identical because an RNA base uracil instead of thymine. So it, with RNA, that's what it is. Oh, so, so it's dealing a T. with RNA, oh, okay. it replaces the thymine with uracil. So oh. when it replaces thymine, uracil splits. becomes RNA. Got it. So when it splits, the T's are actually used. Mm -hmm. In summary, okay, cool like it cool what good quick research nailed it all right so i'm not i don't have that wrong it's an atg but it's rna so it's an aug yeah you're cool. a seal up in that thing bam <laughs> um that's what i used to put on my face to clear up uh pimples in the <laughs> yeah, 80s close enough i thought it was noxzema but it was <laughs> clear as seal it was, it? it was the 90s 80s and 90s it was a big war noxzema versus clear seal shout out to save my um... Boy, all right. Um, all right, so you've got start codons and stop codons, red lights and green lights. And here's where um, we're gonna start getting into more and more, not just start and stop, but you've got junk codons as well. Mm -hmm. You've got sequences that don't tell the proteins to do anything, to just skim over it like it doesn't matter. So you got start codons, stop codons, junk codons, mm -hmm. okay? Start codons mean start doing something. Codon, uh, stop codons mean stop doing that thing. Mm -hmm. All the stuff in the middle is like build lungs, grow hair, like make your eyes, like all that stuff. But then you've got junk codons. Now, the junk codons are just sequences that don't matter, just fluff, just filler throughout the, the entire thing. So here's where I want you to picture a shoelace, okay? Okay. All right, so you got a shoelace, and what's that little thing at the end of a uh, shoelace? Uh, it's a junk codon, according to this picture. That's cool. So in real life, that little thing on a shoelace is called an aglet. An aglet, yes, and it goes through an eye lit. Yeah, if you're lacing your shoes. I'm just talking about the lace, <laughs> right. Sorry, I just want to be right. <laughs> no, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you've got an aglet and then a shoelace, and on the other end of that shoelace is a what? Another aglet. Another aglet. Damn right. All right. So the whole shoelace is everything that matters in your DNA. Mm -hmm. You've got junk, 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 which on a shoelace looks like an aglet. And then it <laughs> says start going. And then you got your actual shoelace. And then it goes stop codon. And then you got junk, 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 junk. It sounds like a yin yang twin song. <laughs> junk, 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 junk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. But that's true. I'm in. Okay, I apologize. Continue. All right, so you feel me on the uh, the shoelace shoelace analogy? Mm-hmm. 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 All right. So what's at the beginning? Aglet. And what does that represent in DNA world? The junk codon. The junk. And then what happens right, right after the aglet? Huh? Uh, stop codon. It says stop. I I wouldn't no go the other way. No, start the codon. beginning. Oh, start codon. Start codon. Yeah, we start before we stop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you're then right. you got then you got DNA, and then it stops, and then you and got the junk. end of the DNA. Okay. And more junk. All right. So remember when we talked about your scars? Yeah. Why are they still there? Something's damaged in that DNA, and it's probably a start codon or a stop codon. So the start codon is damaged. And the or the stop codon is damaged, and that's why the scar remains right there. That's interesting. All right. So what happens? Riddle me this. What happens if the start codon is damaged? Then it will not start the replication to create more cells, which would not lead to healing. Cool. What happens if the stop codon is damaged? It's going to run the red light and probably kill people. Or create a tumor. Oh which would kill people. 
Yeah, because if you don't have a stop codon, it's going to keep making the thing. Yeah. Okay. More ALP. All right. Yeah. So here's here's where we're going to start getting into what cancer is, because we just described a tumor is when the DNA doesn't know to stop. So every time that your cells replicate, every time it goes through this process and it divides and you get new A's and T's and G's and C's, every time you lose a little bit of the aglet on the end of the shoelace, every time. Every time some of that junk goes away, that's why it's there. So if you're out in the sun a lot and your skin is burning and burning and peeling and burning faster than normal, yeah. guess what's happening to your DNA within your cells? It's replicating faster than normal and to, what's going to happen. It's, Correct. It's going to like get damaged and not stop. Correct, and you're going to lose one of the ends because you're losing tiny microscopic pieces of the ends, one end or the other, over and over and over and over and over. So if you're smoking and literally burning your lungs and bringing stuff that's not oxygen into your lungs, you're going to force your lungs to replicate faster, losing tiny little bits of those aglets on the end of it until eventually, have you ever lost little plastic piece on the end of your shoelace? Yeah. What happens? You got to buy new shoes. Okay. <laughs> what if you try to use that shoelace? It's going to it's going to be horrible and if it comes out of the eyelet, you'll never get it back in. It's going to be you have to buy new shoelaces. Okay. So, what do you think is going to happen with that DNA if you lose the start and the stop at the end when it tries to get an improved lung or try to help you make new red blood cells? If you've got cancer in there it's not this bug that has jumped into your dna or attacked your cells it's your cells trying to duplicate or not knowing to stop so you're saying this is the smoking fun part. smoking is causing people to have lung cancer due to the damaging effects of the particular smokes that are going into their lungs, causing their lungs to try to repair themselves too quickly and mm -hmm. the lungs not being able to stop because of the damage that the actual smoke is doing to the actual DNA is causing lung cancer? No, the smoke's not doing anything to the DNA. The DNA is doing stuff to the DNA. Okay, so... The DNA is trying to keep up because you smoking... Keep up. ...is forcing you to replicate those cells faster than Norman, uh, normal uh, human lifespan. Damn you, Norman. Like, if you... Norman, you, yeah. So, if, if you've got, let's say, uh, lungs that are going to last for 80 years but you make them replicate too fast, you're gonna lose the ends of your uh, DNA so fast that your lungs are going to replicate, 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 and you're only gonna have them for 40 years because you've replicated too many times and you've lost the ends of your DNA. You've lost all that junk, and now the only thing left to lose is your start and, start, uh, start and stop codons, and it, it's gonna turn into a tumor because it's just gonna spin out of control, which is why radiation kills things yeah, duh, he's, what does it kill it kills the cell that doesn't have a stop code on you've got this tumor that's going out of control which is your cell trying to duplicate so radiation gets in there and doesn't kill these cancer cells it kills your cells that don't have a stop code on but wait a minute but they but they've gone haywire so how do we Fix them to where they do have a stop code on, like radiation. That's, that that would that would be the cure for cancer. Son of a bitch! How to remake a stop code on? Because now we're just we've we've killed it due to a bunch of terrible behavior, or or bad genetics or whatever. Like when they say it's genetic that it's passed down, that means that your genetic code just doesn't have enough junk code on there to sustain as long as everything else in your body. Oh, damn you, stop codon. 
Yeah, you want to protect your stop coat on. I need you that. want your body to like, because as soon as your skin's like, oh, let's make more. You're like, whoa, slow down, slow down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I don't need extra double skin. No. no, no, you don't. You don't go tanning in the sun. To man, we need that stop coat on. Yeah, stop coat on. Save the stop coat on. See, that's a better mm -hmm. shirt than save the boobies. But I, I guess nobody just... would really get save the stop coat on. No, we need to save the stop coat on. I think yeah. I like that Keep shirt. the DNA aglet. Yay, mm -hmm. go aglet. <laughs> DNA aglets are important. I'm all about the stop coat on. So that is, wow. I mean, I, I learned today how to solve the problem with cancer, but I, I, I can see now where the problem is in science is how do you get something as complicated as DNA to replicate or to rebuild a stop codon and now thinking about it geez every time i go to have a smoke if i do now i'm gonna probably spread my smoking out a lot more and because like <laughs> yeah to slow that replication down man so slow, slow that replication down homie like you correct you're yep slower metabolism is gonna save your life <clears throat> amazing unless you're eating a bunch of chicken wings and that will not save your life wow look there you go when you said cancer was going to blow my mind i was sitting here like okay sure <laughs> i know now i'm like well i guess i'll go eat my salad and maybe i won't have a smoke break tonight because maybe i need to slow down the replication of uh of the old DNA there. So, wow. I, yeah. You know, cheers. You, you blew my mind. Totally. Cheers. I, there I we have, go. I Got have it. no idea. Look, if you're checking this one out, this show about cancer, by far, this might be next to the show I did about <laughs> furry fandom. This might be the most interesting <laughs> show that I've ever done. It might be the most interesting show I've ever done. So, Thank you for tuning in and checking us out. Um, Omi D learns. I am Omi D along with the guy. More or less. More or less here. And we've got more episodes coming. What, what are we doing next? What's the next one coming for the people? Um, I, I'm going to, I'm going to Omi D learn you uh, the difference between conservative and liberal. Cause it's like, all the rage right now of like, Oh, these liberals are this, or Oh, there's conservatives. Are this. And, and I'm like, do these people know what that means? And so we're going to talk about what that means. And um, I, I mean, for our watchers or for you, you can go, oh, I really am a conservative or I really am a liberal or damn, I'm neither of those things. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to we're going to get into we're going to get into that. I've got some religion stuff coming up. Yeah. Um, also going to uh, teach you calculus at one point. What in the flying Bro, I literally changed <laughs> majors to avoid calculus. But if we're going to nope, learn calculus, gonna this is going yep. to be the best show ever. So, look, I'm, yep. I'm looking forward to the next three episodes. We've got calculus. We've got conservatives versus liberals. And what was the other one? Uh, so I don't have calculus uh, ready for it, but I've got the alphabet. Look, alphabet a, soon. B, I just I just threw out calculus like as an example. But the alphabet is coming. I'm going to teach you the alphabet. I-J-K. L M N O P. Yes, that is going to be exciting. So, everybody, make sure you tune in for the next episode here. The ODL Experience, Omi D Learns with Omi D. And more or less, this by far is the best podcast going on the internet. We will catch you guys later. We'll be back. Yeah.